Hi, good morning everyone, good morning. Welcome to May, uh, Monday, May 31st, the last day of May. Wow, look at this, does this look, it will start to look more, more like a shopping mall, <laughs> but it started, that's right, and actually the layout of these pictures matches the worksheets. Pretty cool, oh sorry, windows are open, would you mind? Sorry, sorry to see that, the elevator one. Sorry, we open the windows every day to change the air, but when we start to make noise, we have to, we have to close them temporarily, right? And reopen them later. Okay, so today is the last day of May, May 31st. Let's get started, are you ready? It's Worksheets for Students. And today, from today, a very special change to the way we do our worksheets. So you're going to start to see a Cambridge Assessment Learning logo on some of the key worksheets. So for those of you taking the Cambridge test with us, one of the tests with us in August, pay special attention to those worksheets because those ones, those ones, uh, the better you are with those ones, the better you're going to do on your Cambridge tests, okay? All right, you guys, okay, let's get started. Here we go. This is. Worksheet number one coming at you. It just says, look, look, there's a shopping mall. Here is a bigger picture of a shopping mall. And here, there goes the boy. He's saying S-H-S-H. -S -S -S. That's right, it's worksheet number one, keeping it really easy. It's just S-H-S-H. -S -S -S. Okay, you guys, and don't forget, we have to color, color, color. Number one worksheet, always fun to do lots of coloring. All right, and here we are with number two. Here comes number two. Now there's three of them. S-H, S-H, S-H. After we're done saying S-H, 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 we can say shoes, shoes, shoes. Shoes, shoes, shoes. Shoes, 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 okay? Number one is just about letters. Number two, letters with a little bit more of the word, okay? Shoes, shoes, shoes. And number three, number three, a little bit more challenging. It's S H shoes new. S H shoes new. S H or S H O E S shoes. Okay, you need to trace, say, and draw your line. Trace, say, draw your line. Trace, say, draw your line. Okay, that's it you guys, that's it. Moving on to number four. It's little by little getting harder as we go. This is number four. Number four, we just add in the two words beforehand to make it a complete sentence. I need, which one is shoes? Which one is it? Is it S-H, S-O, or J-A? I don't know. Do you know? No, just in case, it's over here too. And that's the sentence you want to say at the end. I need shoes. Okay, that's number four. Number five, getting a little bit harder still here, you guys. I have to go soon here. Number five, number five says, time to shop. Yes, my mom would always say, let's shop till we drop. <laughs> so many great things. Time to shop for Shoes and socks. Notice the rhyme makes it easier. Time to shop for shoes and socks. Time to shop for shoes and socks. Here there's only one picture of socks and here, guess what picture you have to draw? What is it you guys? What do you think? What do you think? Okay, here's worksheet number six, and you can see that we have the Cambridge logo here. That's right. This means for this worksheet, you really have to focus on all the words that you see. Okay? In the clothing store, the socks are here. Okay, we just have to get familiar with the letter S-O for socks. Over here, we're going to talk a little bit about what T-R means today and D-R as well. Okay, you guys, that's number six. Number seven, I also see the Cambridge logo. There it is. In the shopping mall, I can see the clothing store. 
in the clothing store, I can see where I can buy what? Now you have to look at the letters, look at all your different letters, and circle what words you think they are. Dresses, pants, trousers, socks, shoes. Trousers is another word for pants. That's right. Actually, I'm from Canada, so I learned British English when I was a boy, uh, but I still call them pants. But, <laughs> but in England, they're called trousers. Okay, so you have to start to understand that it, it's, it could be both, okay? Pants or trousers. And when you're taking the Cambridge test, remember it's trousers, okay? Number eight, Cambridge logo again. It says, close, very important, close to the trousers area, I can buy what? Now find the trousers area, and what is close to the trousers area? What is it? I thought number nine is really cute, you guys. Number nine, look at this. You actually, you actually have to put your foot on the worksheet. This is neat, Marigal. They have to put their foot on this worksheet and actually measure measure the size of their foot. It's actually, it's the, it's the exact measurement too. So 30 centimeters is over here somewhere. So, so it's, so here you have to just put your foot down. Your heel goes here and we have to find out the size of your, the size of your foot, the size of your foot. So we can determine the size of your shoes. Number 10, there it is again. In the shopping mall, in the clothing store, I need to go to this area to buy my what? And then which area do you have to go to? Which one? Which one? Do you remember the size of your shoes? Ah, do you remember the size of your foot? The size of your foot. And I'm going to teach you today that you don't, you don't buy shoes that are the exact same size as your foot. You have to buy shoes that are one to 1.5 centimeters bigger than your foot because you're always growing. We'll talk about that today too. And number 11, last one, guys, last one. Just a quick review. I can compare how many things? And then just finish the sentence. Yeah, Mariko's name's in here too. Look at that, guys. Okay, so that's it. That's number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. That's right. And for those of you taking the starters test, we have some homework for you to take home today. We have alphabet tracing worksheets. This is number one. This is number two. And then, sorry about the fan. And here you just need to, you need to connect the line to the correct body part. And here just a kind of a word drill, a word de-scramble. Fix those words and then draw your line. Okay, that's for the, mo that's for the starters and for the movers, Today here, you need to understand exactly, exactly where the location of these words are, okay? And here you need to, again, when you understand the location, you need to circle the correct word, trace it. On the back, you can write a sentence. These are my teeth. This is my back. These are my shoulders. And this is my elbow. If the arrows are pointing to one or more things, you need to change, right? You need to add the S in there, make it plural. Okay, and this one here as well for movers today. You need to read the sentence and stick in the right word. Okay, we're just getting started with the homework for that, so don't worry, it will be getting harder. <laughs> okay, well that's it everyone, that's it. I'll see you later. Hope you enjoyed Worksheets for Students for Monday, May 31st. I will see you soon. Let's have another great week. Bye.